Welcome to a discussion on playing the ball out of the back. So we're going to look at different ways to play the ball out of the back here. We could start very simply with your center backs being split wide. Goal kick here has the ball, goalkeeper. You could play your, your wing backs higher, out wide. I like to split the field down the middle. Defensive center mid, your six and your eight. One of the defensive center mids comes in and shows for the ball as the other one balances off. So this is a basic setup for playing the ball out of the back. I'll show you a few more. One of the other options is this. You could always pull one of those center backs. So you're favoring one side, allowing a late and fast run from your defensive center mid to come into this area here and receive the ball. Just another different look, another different option. One of the other options Drop your center back all the way here. Now you have the option of playing your center back out, and it still gives you your space for your defensive center mid to come in as the other one is holding off. Decent option right there. Next, we're actually going to take this wing back, and we'll drop him all the way back here. We'll keep the center back. That's going to open up a lot of space in here, whether your winger wants to come in and check in and fill this space, or whether or not you even want to send one of your defensive center mids here as the other one covers. Lots of different options for playing out of the back. Other things that you really have to consider when playing out of the back. What are the other teams going to do to you? Are they going to put one, two, three, four, and five and commit five players to pressing you in a rehearsed manner that they know exactly how they're going to do it and they're going to be organized? So at that point, you have to say to yourself, am I going to force the ball out of the back? Or maybe I might set up with two center backs, push my wingers, my, my wing backs high. Might even keep my center mids here, forward, attacking center mid, maybe a forward, whatever, however you're going to play. Hit ball, second line, third line balls. It, it depends. If you play a 4-3-2-1, four, four, you're only going to have one forward. If you play three at the back, you'll maybe you play two forwards, whatever it is. Are you going to commit to hitting a second line or a third line ball? Try to win the second ball. Make sure it's a predetermined area. People know where it's going to. You win this ball. You bypass all the pressure, and then you go and attack. So this is a, a something that they're talking about now with Pep Guardiola kind of pressing the issue of having to play out of the back. And for me, if you're a possession team, you don't have to play out of the back. Hit this ball and then win it. And then from here, you could play your possession game. You don't have to force it. This is a very, this is a very dangerous area because these teams are well prepared to commit numbers and rehearse how they're going to pressure in this. This is one of the only times that soccer isn't a free-flowing game in a sense. It's a predetermined set play. Um, a couple of the other things that I'll say is with your wing backs, if it's a very, very good team, if you're top level players and you want to send your wing backs to half field and you want to keep your, your center backs out wide, look at the spaces that you're creating here, right? You have your center mid here, another center mid here. This is big spaces for the defense to cover, right? So, your players have to be super technical in order to do this because if you lose the ball, there's a lot of room in between players to exploit you and try to get you on the counter. Hope you enjoyed it. Just my thoughts on playing out of the back. Thanks for watching. Be sure to uh, check out my blog at CoachDiBernardo.com. Also, my other YouTube stations, Marcus DiBernardo. That's all training sessions that you can watch. Um, also, the weekly soccer rant. It's just kind of sarcastic humor about the game. Um, all my books are available, ebook and paperback, on Amazon.com. If you look up uh, my name, Marcus DiBernardo, on Author Central page, you'll find my books. Also, offer a cognitive soccer coaching diploma course at www.soccersmarttraining.com. And if for any reason you needed to contact me, it's at coachdibernardo at gmail.com. I'm happy to get back to anybody's emails and questions.